So I just want to talk a little bit about gay marriage and homosexuality in America. Um, Obama recently came out and uh, endorsed gay marriage, and people are calling it his evolved view on gay marriage. And a lot of people are crediting this with making gay marriage more popular amongst the you know common people, so to speak. Um, but recently in the news, Chris Colliver, a 49ers uh, linebacker, came out and said some pretty anti-gay, uh, made some anti-gay comments. You know, nothing offensive, nothing terribly, you know, no, no obscenities or anything like that. But just just coming out against it generally in in, uh, in the NFL. And uh, he's gotten a lot of heat for this. I mean, Jim Harbaugh, his coach, um, forced him to basically recant his statements. Um, the NFL has come out against him. You know, he's had to apologize and everything. And recently in the uh, the Huffington Post, which is actually the first um, most uh, viewed, you know, blog slash news uh, conglomeration on the web, uh, ran an article or a column by Michelangelo Signorelli. I believe that's how you pronounce it. But uh, he claimed, he said, quote, for the horrendously bigoted anti-gay content of his remarks, there is no question that Culliver must be suspended if the NFL is serious about its claims to be taking on homophobia in its ranks. So this is a guy, um, you know, obviously a liberal kind of Marxist guy on that side of the spectrum that's coming out saying, you know, it's just bigoted to even say, to even state your opinion about, you know, gay marriage. And, um... You know, this is pretty surprising considering that, you know, if one searches, um, you know, Americans view, uh, how many Americans view homosexuality as a sin, Pew Research, you know, basically the first link you get is, you know, the Pew Research poll, which found that, you know, 55%, more than half of all Americans, believe that homosexuality is a sin. You know, not just, you know, they don't like it, you know, it's not, but it's actually a, a condemnable eternal offense, um, which is pretty surprising. I mean, it's it's pretty uh, disturbing to find out that, you know, 55% of the um, country can't state their opinion about homosexuality with, without being labeled a bigot, you know, bigoted, or radical, or, you know, haters, or whatever. I mean, this is 55% of the country. If 55% of the country endorses something, that's, by very definition, means it's not radical. Um... But, you know, the, the Marxists want to push their agenda and they'll, they'll you know, go ad hominem on anyone who, you know, disagrees with them. Um, and this, this really is a sign of the factionalization of the country. I mean, um, you know, the country, the, the sides in the country, the Christian uh, sort of right-wing conservatives have gotten farther to the right, more fundamental, while the, uh, the other groups, the Marxist liberals, have been pushing and pushing ever since the 1960s to just get us, you know, to, to fall off the edge and just abandon Christianity and scripture altogether. Just so there was no, uh, you know, uh, confusion about what the Bible actually says about this issue, I brought my Bible and I'm going to read a couple verses, one from the Old Testament and then another from the New Testament, just to, you know, make sure that everybody's aware of what the Bible actually says. In Leviticus chapter 20, verse 13, it says, If a man also lie with mankind, as he lieth with a woman, both of them have committed an abomination. They shall surely be put to death, their blood shall be upon them. So, in the Bible, in the Old Testament, Law of Moses, you know, homosexual, homosexuality was a, was a sin punishable by death. But it was, it's the same way today. In Romans chapter 2, verse 26 and 27, it says, For this cause God gave them up to vile affections, for even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. And likewise also the men, leaving the natural use of the woman, burned in their lust one toward another, men with men, working that which is unseemly. So in the biblical view, um, homosexuality is unseemly. It's unnatural. It's something that, you know, is an abomination. And so, you know, um, any claims, you know, Chris Colliver and uh, conservatives everywhere view the biblical moral foundation as proper and correct, whereas the Marxists are totally against everything we believe in. But anyway, I just wanted to uh, talk about that a little bit. Um, thanks for watching.